A vision of artificial intelligence and its incorporation with new technologies such as blockchain and the Internet of Things, IAT. Artificial intelligence, I, is rapidly evolving and has the potential to revolutionize many industries, including healthcare, finance, and transportation. However, as I becomes more advanced, it also poses new challenges, such as the need for increased security and privacy. To address these challenges, there is a growing interest in combining I with other emerging technologies, such as blockchain and the Internet of Things, IAT. One potential application of I and blockchain is in the area of data privacy. Blockchain technology is a distributed ledger that allows for secure, transparent, and tamper-proof record-keeping. By combining I with blockchain, it may be possible to develop systems that can securely and privately store and share sensitive data, such as healthcare records or financial information. Another potential application of I and IAT is in the area of smart cities. The IAT refers to the network of devices, vehicles, and other objects that are connected to the Internet and can collect and exchange data. By combining I with IAT, it may be possible to develop systems that can optimize traffic flow, reduce energy consumption, and improve public safety in urban environments. In addition to these applications, there is also a growing interest in using I and blockchain to develop decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs. DAOs are organizations that are run by code and operate without the need for human intervention. By combining I with blockchain, it may be possible to develop DAOs that can autonomously manage resources, make decisions, and execute transactions. However, there are also potential risks associated with the combination of I, blockchain, and IAT. For example, there is a risk that I algorithms could be biased or could be used to manipulate data in the blockchain. Additionally, there is a risk that IAT devices could be hacked and used to compromise the security of blockchain systems. To address these risks, it will be important to develop robust security and privacy protocols that can protect against hacking and other malicious activities. Additionally, it will be important to ensure that I algorithms are transparent and accountable, and that they do not perpetuate bias or discrimination. As the integration of I, blockchain, and I continues to evolve, there are many potential benefits and challenges that will need to be addressed. One potential application of these technologies is in the area of supply chain management. By combining I with blockchain and IAT, it may be possible to develop systems that can track the movement of goods and materials in real time, optimize inventory management, and reduce waste. Another potential application is in the area of energy management. By using IAT sensors to collect data on energy consumption and combining this with I algorithms and blockchain technology, it may be possible to develop systems that can optimize energy usage, reduce costs, and promote sustainability. In addition to these applications, there is a growing interest in using I and blockchain to develop decentralized marketplaces. These marketplaces would be run by code and could operate without the need for intermediaries, such as banks or other financial institutions. By using blockchain technology to securely and transparently track transactions and I algorithms to match buyers and sellers, it may be possible to create more efficient and equitable marketplaces. However, there are also potential challenges associated with the integration of these technologies. For example, there is a risk that I algorithms could be used to perpetuate discrimination or bias in decision making. Additionally, there is a risk that blockchain systems could be vulnerable to hacking or other malicious activities. To address these challenges, it will be important to develop ethical and transparent frameworks for the use of I, blockchain, and IAT. This will involve ensuring that I algorithms are transparent unbiased, and accountable, and that blockchain systems are secure and resilient to hacking and other malicious activities. 
The integration of AI, blockchain, and AI it is transforming many industries, including finance. One potential application of these technologies is in the area of financial transactions and payments. By using blockchain technology and AI algorithms, it may be possible to create more secure, efficient, and transparent payment systems that can reduce costs and increase accessibility. Another potential application is in the area of fraud prevention. By using blockchain technology and AI algorithms to analyze financial data and detect anomalies or suspicious transactions, it may be possible to prevent fraud and improve the security of financial systems. In addition to these applications, there is a growing interest in using AI and blockchain to develop decentralized financial systems. These systems would be run by code and could operate without the need for intermediaries, such as banks or other financial institutions. By using blockchain technology to securely and transparently track transactions and AI algorithms to manage risk and optimize investment strategies, it may be possible to create more efficient and equitable financial systems. However, there are also potential challenges associated with the integration of these technologies. For example, there is a risk that AI algorithms could be used to perpetuate discrimination or bias in decision-making. Additionally, there is a risk that blockchain systems could be vulnerable to hacking or other malicious activities. To address these challenges, it will be important to develop ethical and transparent frameworks for the use of AI, blockchain, and AI in finance. This will involve ensuring that AI algorithms are transparent, unbiased, and accountable, and that blockchain systems are secure and resilient to hacking and other malicious activities. The integration of AI, blockchain, and AI is also transforming the field of agriculture. One potential application is in the area of precision agriculture. By using AI sensors to collect data on soil moisture, temperature, and other environmental factors, and combining this with AI algorithms and blockchain technology, it may be possible to develop systems that can optimize crop yields, reduce water and fertilizer usage, and improve sustainability. Another potential application is in the area of food safety and traceability. By using blockchain technology and AI algorithms to track the movement of food products throughout the supply chain, it may be possible to improve the safety and quality of food products and reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses. In addition to these applications, there is a growing interest in using AI and blockchain to develop decentralized marketplaces for agricultural products. These marketplaces would be run by code and could operate without the need for intermediaries, such as distributors or retailers. By using blockchain technology to securely and transparently track transactions and AI algorithms to match buyers and sellers, it may be possible to create more efficient and equitable marketplaces for agricultural products. However, there are also potential challenges associated with the integration of these technologies. For example, there is a risk that AI algorithms could be used to perpetuate bias or discrimination in decision-making. Impact of self-driving cars on urban traffic and transport infrastructure Self-driving cars have been a topic of discussion for several years now, with many people eager to see how they will revolutionize transportation. While the technology has the potential to offer numerous benefits, such as reducing traffic congestion and improving safety, there are also concerns about how it will impact urban traffic and transportation infrastructure. One of the key benefits of self-driving cars is that they have the potential to greatly reduce traffic congestion. With autonomous vehicles, there will be no need for drivers to slow down or stop at intersections, as the cars will be able to communicate with traffic signals and other vehicles to optimize traffic. 
slow. This will lead to fewer delays and less time spent sitting in traffic, which will ultimately improve the efficiency of transportation networks in urban areas. Another potential benefit of self-driving cars is improved safety. With autonomous vehicles, there will be no need for human drivers, who are prone to errors and distractions. This means that accidents caused by human error, such as speeding, running red lights, or driving under the influence, could become a thing of the past. Self-driving cars are also equipped with advanced sensors and cameras that can detect potential hazards, such as pedestrians or other vehicles, and take action to avoid collisions. However, the introduction of self-driving cars will also have significant impacts on urban traffic and transportation infrastructure. For instance, the widespread adoption of autonomous vehicles could lead to a decrease in the number of cars on the road, as people may choose to rely on ride-sharing services instead of owning their own vehicles. This could lead to a decrease in revenue from gas taxes and other fees that are currently used to fund transportation infrastructure. Additionally, the deployment of self-driving cars will require significant upgrades to transportation infrastructure, such as roadways, traffic signals, and other traffic management systems. For instance, traffic signals will need to be updated to communicate with autonomous vehicles, and roadways will need to be adapted to accommodate new traffic patterns and behaviors. This will require significant investment in transportation infrastructure, which may be challenging for cash-strapped cities and municipalities. Another concern is that the deployment of self-driving cars could lead to increased sprawl as people may choose to live further away from urban centers if they no longer need to worry about commuting times or traffic congestion. This could have significant impacts on urban planning and development and could lead to increased strain on transportation infrastructure in suburban and rural areas. Another potential impact of self-driving cars on urban traffic and transportation infrastructure is the need for new regulations and laws. As the technology develops and becomes more widespread, there will be a need for clear guidelines and regulations to ensure that self-driving cars are operating safely and effectively on public roads. This will require collaboration between government agencies, technology companies, and other stakeholders to establish standards for the design, testing, and deployment of autonomous vehicles. Another concern is the potential for job loss in industries such as transportation and delivery. With the widespread adoption of autonomous vehicles, there may be a decrease in demand for drivers and delivery workers, as self-driving cars and drones can perform these tasks more efficiently and at a lower cost. This could have significant impacts on the labor market and may require policymakers to consider strategies for retraining and supporting workers who are impacted by these changes. Finally, there are also ethical concerns surrounding the deployment of self-driving cars. For instance, in situations where an accident is unavoidable, the car's programming will need to make decisions about how to minimize harm, potentially including decisions that could result in harm to passengers or pedestrians. There is also a risk of hacking or cyber attacks on autonomous vehicles, which could have serious safety implications. One potential positive impact of self-driving cars on urban traffic and transportation infrastructure is increased accessibility for people with disabilities or limited mobility. With autonomous vehicles, People who cannot drive or have difficulty using public transportation will have a new mode of transportation that can take them directly to their destination. This could also lead to a decrease in demand for paratransit services and other specialized transportation options, freeing up resources for other needs. Another potential impact of self-driving cars is the potential for new business models and services. With fewer cars on the road, there may be an opportunity for new transportation services, such as on-demand shuttle services or delivery services that can operate more efficiently with 
Autonomous vehicles. This could create new job opportunities and stimulate economic growth in urban areas. Additionally, the deployment of self-driving cars could lead to a shift in urban design and planning. With fewer cars on the road, there may be less need for large parking lots and garages, freeing up space for other uses such as parks or housing. This could also lead to a decrease in the environmental impact of transportation, as fewer cars on the road means less pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. However, there are also concerns about the potential for self-driving cars to exacerbate existing inequalities in urban areas. For instance, if autonomous vehicles are primarily owned by wealthy individuals or companies, this could lead to increased congestion and reduced access to transportation for low-income residents. There is also a risk that autonomous vehicles could reinforce existing patterns of urban sprawl and car-centric development, leading to further environmental degradation and social isolation. Another potential impact of self-driving cars on urban traffic and transportation infrastructure is the need for new data management and privacy regulations. With autonomous vehicles generating enormous amounts of data, there is a need for clear guidelines on how this data is collected, stored, and used. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential for hacking or misuse of this data, which could have serious implications for privacy and security. Another challenge is the need for ongoing maintenance and updates to the technology and infrastructure supporting self-driving cars. As with any complex technology, there will be a need for ongoing maintenance and updates to keep autonomous vehicles operating safely and effectively. This will require significant investment in research and development, as well as ongoing collaboration between technology companies, government agencies, and other stakeholders. Finally, there is also a need to address the potential psychological and social impacts of self-driving cars on individuals and communities. As people adapt to new transportation technologies, there may be changes in behavior and attitudes towards transportation, which could have implications for social interactions, mental health, and community cohesion. It will be important for policymakers and stakeholders to consider these impacts and develop strategies to ensure that the introduction of self-driving cars does not have negative social or psychological impacts. Another potential impact of self-driving cars on urban traffic and transportation infrastructure is the need for new infrastructure for electric and autonomous vehicles. As more autonomous vehicles are deployed, there will be a need for a new infrastructure to support charging and maintenance of these vehicles. This infrastructure will need to be designed to accommodate the unique needs of autonomous vehicles, such as the ability to charge while parked or on the move, and will require significant applications of artificial intelligence in the field of control and management of information systems. Artificial intelligence, I, has emerged as a powerful technology that can revolutionize the way we control and manage information systems. With the ability to learn, reason, and make decisions, I systems can help us to optimize performance, improve efficiency, and reduce costs in a wide range of applications. In this article, we will explore some of the key applications of AI in the field of control and information systems management. One of the key applications of AI in control systems is predictive maintenance. By analyzing data from sensors and other sources, AI systems can predict when a component is likely to fail and schedule maintenance before a failure occurs. This can help to reduce downtime and maintenance costs, as well as improve overall system reliability. Another application of AI in control systems is optimization. 
By analyzing data and using algorithms to make decisions, iSystems can optimize the performance of complex control systems, such as energy management systems, traffic control systems, and manufacturing systems. This can lead to significant improvements in efficiency, cost savings, and environmental sustainability. In the field of information systems management, I can be used to automate routine tasks and decision-making processes. For instance, iSystems can be used to automatically classify and prioritize emails, route customer inquiries to the appropriate department, and generate reports and other documents. This can help to reduce the workload of human operators and improve overall system efficiency. Another application of I in information systems management is fraud detection. By analyzing data from multiple sources, such as transaction records and social media, I systems can detect patterns and anomalies that may indicate fraudulent activity. This can help to reduce losses and improve the security and integrity of information systems. Finally, I can be used to improve decision-making in complex systems. By analyzing data and using machine learning algorithms, iSystems can help decision-makers to identify patterns and trends, and to make more informed decisions. This can be particularly useful in fields such as finance, where iSystems can be used to analyze market trends and make investment recommendations. Another important application of I in control and information systems management is autonomous decision making. With the ability to analyze data and make decisions in real time, I systems can be used to control and manage complex systems, such as autonomous vehicles, smart homes, and industrial robots. This can help to reduce the workload of human operators and improve overall system efficiency. In addition, I can be used to improve the accuracy and speed of data analysis. With the ability to process large amounts of data quickly and accurately, iSystems can be used to analyze data from multiple sources, such as sensors, cameras, and social media, to provide insights that would be difficult or impossible for humans to identify. This can be particularly useful in fields such as healthcare, where I systems can be used to analyze medical images and identify early signs of disease. Another application of I in control and information systems management is natural language processing, NLP. By analyzing and understanding human language, I systems can be used to automate customer service, improve search algorithms, and even generate natural-sounding speech. This can help to improve the user experience and reduce the workload of human operators. Finally, I can be used to improve security and privacy in control and information systems management. By analyzing data and identifying patterns of suspicious activity, iSystems can be used to detect and prevent cyber attacks, identity theft, and other forms of fraud. Additionally, I can be used to encrypt and secure sensitive data, such as medical records and financial transactions, to ensure that they remain private and secure. Another important application of I in control and information systems management is in the field of energy management. With the ability to analyze data and make decisions in real time, iSystems can be used to optimize energy usage in buildings, factories, and other facilities. This can help to reduce energy costs, improve efficiency, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. I can also be used to improve the reliability and security of energy systems. 
by analyzing data from sensors and other sources, I systems can detect and diagnose problems before they occur, allowing for proactive maintenance and repair. Additionally, I can be used to identify and prevent cyber attacks on energy systems, ensuring that they remain secure and reliable. Another application of IAM control and information systems management is in the field of logistics and supply chain management. With the ability to analyze data from multiple sources, iSystems can be used to optimize logistics and supply chain operations, reducing costs and improving efficiency. For instance, I can be used to optimize delivery routes, reduce inventory levels, and improve demand forecasting. I can also be used to improve safety and reduce accidents in industrial settings. By analyzing data from sensors and other sources, iSystems can detect potential safety hazards and take corrective actions, such as stopping machinery or alerting workers. Additionally, I can be used to monitor worker behavior and provide feedback, helping to improve safety and reduce accidents. Finally, I can be used to improve healthcare delivery and patient outcomes. By analyzing medical data and identifying patterns and trends, iSystems can be used to improve diagnosis, treatment, and patient care. For instance, I can be used to analyze medical images, identify early signs of disease, and personalize treatment plans based on individual patient characteristics. Another important application of IAM control and information systems management is in the field of agriculture. With the ability to analyze data from sensors and other sources, iSystems can be used to optimize agricultural operations, reduce costs, and improve crop yields. For instance, I can be used to analyze weather data, soil conditions, and crop growth patterns to determine the optimal time for planting, irrigation, and harvesting. I can also be used to improve the efficiency and sustainability of farming practices. By analyzing data on water usage, fertilizer usage, and greenhouse gas emissions, iSystems can help farmers to reduce waste, conserve resources, and minimize their environmental impact. Additionally, I can be used to monitor crops for pests and diseases, allowing for targeted interventions that reduce the need for pesticides and other chemicals. Another application of IAM control and information systems management is in the field of finance. With the ability to analyze large amounts of data and identify patterns and trends, iSystems can be used to improve risk management, fraud detection, and investment decision making. For instance, I can be used to analyze market trends and identify opportunities for investment, or to detect patterns of fraudulent activity in financial transactions. I can also be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of legal processes. By analyzing legal documents and identifying patterns and trends, iSystems can help to automate routine legal tasks, such as document review and contract drafting. Additionally, I can be used to analyze legal data and provide insights that can inform legal strategy and decision-making. The Development of Automatic Driving Status Monitoring System to Ensure Safety the development of automated driving technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we travel, offering improved safety, reduced congestion, and increased accessibility. However, as with any new technology, there are also potential risks and challenges that must be addressed. One of the key challenges of automated driving is ensuring that the technology is safe and reliable, and that drivers remain attentive and ready to take control in case of an emergency. 
To address this challenge, researchers and engineers are developing new automated driving monitoring systems that can detect driver inattention and take corrective action to ensure safety. One of the key components of these monitoring systems is a driver monitoring camera, which uses computer vision algorithms to track the driver's eyes and head movements. By monitoring the driver's gaze and attention, the system can detect if the driver is becoming drowsy or distracted, and can alert the driver to refocus their attention or take control of the vehicle. Additionally, the system can detect if the driver is looking away from the road for an extended period of time, and can take corrective action, such as slowing down or pulling over to the side of the road. Another important component of automated driving monitoring systems is the use of sensors and data analysis to detect and respond to changes in the environment. For instance, the system can use radar and LIDAR sensors to detect other vehicles, pedestrians, and obstacles on the road, and can adjust the vehicle's speed and trajectory to avoid collisions. Additionally, the system can analyze data on traffic patterns, weather conditions, and other factors to optimize the vehicle's performance and ensure safety. To ensure the reliability and effectiveness of these systems, researchers and engineers are conducting extensive testing and validation, both in simulation and on real roads. This includes testing the systems under a wide range of conditions, such as different weather conditions, traffic densities, and road types. Additionally, researchers are developing advanced machine learning algorithms that can adapt to changing conditions and improve over time. In addition to driver monitoring and environmental sensing, another important aspect of automated driving monitoring systems is the use of advanced algorithms for decision-making. For instance, the system can use machine learning algorithms to analyze data on traffic patterns, road conditions, and other factors to make real-time decisions about the vehicle's speed, trajectory, and behavior. Additionally, the system can use reinforcement learning algorithms to learn from past experiences and improve its decision-making over time. Another important aspect of automated driving monitoring systems is the use of redundant and fail-safe systems to ensure reliability and safety. For instance, the system can include redundant sensors and computer systems, so that if one component fails, the system can still operate safely. Additionally, the system can include fail-safe mechanisms, such as emergency braking and steering systems, to ensure that the vehicle can be safely stopped or redirected in case of an emergency. To ensure that automated driving monitoring systems are effective and reliable, it is important to have clear regulations and standards in place. For instance, regulatory agencies can establish minimum requirements for driver monitoring systems, such as the minimum level of accuracy and response time. Additionally, regulations can require manufacturers to conduct extensive testing and validation of their automated driving systems before they are allowed on public roads. One of the challenges facing the development of automated driving monitoring systems is the need to balance safety with user experience. While it is important to ensure that the systems are reliable and safe, it is also important to ensure that they do not interfere with the user's ability to enjoy the driving experience. To address this challenge, researchers and engineers are developing new user interfaces and design approaches that can provide users with the information they need to make informed decisions. While also maintaining a seamless and intuitive user experience. One approach to improving the user experience of automated driving monitoring systems is to design them as a seamless extension of the vehicle's existing controls and user interfaces. For instance, the driver monitoring camera can be integrated into the vehicle's dashboard display, 
so that the driver can see their own image and receive alerts without having to look away from. The road. Additionally, the system can use natural language processing and voice recognition to provide information and alerts to the driver, without requiring them to take their hands off the steering wheel. Another approach to improving the user experience of automated driving monitoring systems is to design them with a focus on user-centered design principles. This includes conducting user research and testing throughout the design process to ensure that the system meets the needs and expectations of users. Additionally, designers can use a range of design techniques, such as gamification and interactive feedback, to engage users and encourage safe and responsible driving behavior. To ensure that users are comfortable with and trust automated driving monitoring systems, it is also important to provide clear and transparent information about the system's capabilities and Limitations This includes providing users with clear instructions and guidance on how to use the system, as well as providing regular updates and feedback on the system's performance and reliability. Another challenge facing the development of automated driving monitoring systems is the need to ensure that they are secure and protected against cyber attacks. As automated driving technology becomes more widespread, the risk of cyber attacks and hacking attempts increases, which can pose a significant risk to the safety and reliability of the system. To address this challenge, researchers and engineers are developing new security systems and protocols that can protect the system from cyber attacks and ensure that it remains safe and reliable. At all times One approach to improving the security of automated driving monitoring systems is to use advanced encryption and authentication techniques to protect the data and communication channels. Use by the system This includes using secure communication protocols and digital signatures to ensure that data is transmitted and received securely and that the system can verify the authenticity of incoming data. Another approach to improving the security of automated driving monitoring systems is to use advanced intrusion detection and prevention systems to detect and respond to cyber attacks in real time. This includes using machine learning algorithms to analyze data and identify patterns of suspicious behavior, as well as using automated response mechanisms to respond to attacks and prevent. Further damage To ensure that automated driving monitoring systems are secure and protected against cyber attacks, it is also important to establish clear and comprehensive security standards and regulations. This includes establishing minimum security requirements for automated driving systems, as well as requiring manufacturers to conduct extensive testing and validation of their security systems. Before they are allowed on public roads Another challenge facing the development of automated driving monitoring systems is the need to address ethical and legal considerations associated with their use. As automated driving technology becomes more advanced and widespread, it raises a number of complex ethical and legal questions, such as who is liable in case of an accident or how the technology should be regulated. To address these challenges, researchers, policymakers, and stakeholders are working to develop new ethical and legal frameworks that can guide the development and use of automated driving technology. One key ethical consideration associated with automated driving monitoring systems is the need to ensure that the technology is designed and used in a way that is consistent with ethical principles, such as privacy, transparency, and accountability. This includes providing clear and transparent information to users about how the technology works and ensuring that users have control over how their data is collected and used. 
Another key ethical consideration associated with automated driving monitoring systems is the need to ensure that the technology does not perpetuate or exacerbate existing biases and inequalities. Vision for the Development of Robotics and Artificial Intelligence in the Service and Entertainment Sector The development of robotics and artificial intelligence I, technology has the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our lives, including the service and entertainment industry. From automated customer service to interactive entertainment experiences, the possibilities for using robotics and I in these fields are endless. In this article, we will explore the potential applications and implications of robotics and I in the service and entertainment industry. One of the key applications of robotics and I in the service industry is the use of chatbots and virtual assistants to provide automated customer support. With the help of natural language processing and machine learning algorithms, these systems can provide personalized and efficient support to customers, without the need for human intervention. Additionally, these systems can be programmed to learn from customer interactions and improve over time, leading to even more effective and efficient support. Another potential application of robotics than I in the service industry is the use of robots and automated systems to perform routine tasks, such as cleaning and maintenance. For instance, robotic vacuum cleaners and floor scrubbers can help to keep public spaces clean and tidy, while automated maintenance systems can help to detect and repair equipment issues. Before they become serious In the entertainment industry, robotics and I can be used to create immersive and interactive experiences for audiences. For instance, theme parks and attractions can use robotic characters and animatronics to create lifelike and engaging experiences for visitors. Additionally, I can be used to create personalized and adaptive experiences, such as interactive exhibits and games that adjust to the user's preferences and behavior. Another potential application of robotics and I in the entertainment industry is the use of virtual and augmented reality technologies to create immersive and interactive experiences. For instance, virtual reality headsets can be used to create fully immersive experiences, while augmented reality apps and games can be used to enhance real-world experiences and environments. However, along with the potential benefits of robotics and I in the service and entertainment industry, there are also potential risks and challenges that must be addressed. For instance, there is a risk that these technologies could lead to job displacement and economic disruption, as automated systems and robots replace human workers in certain tasks and industries. Additionally, there are concerns about privacy and security implications, as well as ethical considerations related to the use of AI and robotics in these fields. As the development of robotics and AI technology continues, it is expected that the service and entertainment industry will experience significant changes and advancements. For instance, the use of advanced robotics and AI technology can help to improve the overall customer experience by providing more efficient, personalized, and engaging services. Additionally, it can help to reduce costs and increase productivity, leading to more sustainable and profitable operations. One potential application of robotics and AI in the service industry is the use of autonomous vehicles and drones for delivery and transportation. With the help of advanced sensors and algorithms, these systems can navigate through complex environments and deliver goods and services more efficiently. 
Additionally, these systems can be programmed to optimize delivery routes and schedules, reducing delivery times and improving overall efficiency. In the entertainment industry, robotics and I can be used to create even more immersive and interactive experiences for audiences. For instance, the use of humanoid robots and advanced animatronics can help to create lifelike and engaging characters and experiences. Additionally, the use of AI and machine learning algorithms can help to create more dynamic and adaptive experiences, adjusting to the user's preferences and behavior in real time. Another potential application of robotics and AI in the service and entertainment industry is the use of predictive analytics and data-driven decision-making. By analyzing data on customer behavior and preferences, as well as operational data on service and entertainment operations, businesses can make more informed decisions and optimize their operations to better meet the needs and expectations of their customers. However, as the use of robotics and AI in the service and entertainment industry becomes more widespread, it is important to address the potential risks and challenges associated with these. Technologies For instance, there is a risk that these technologies could be used to perpetuate existing biases and inequalities, or to invade people's privacy. Additionally, there are concerns about the ethical implications of using automated systems and robots to replace human workers in certain industries. As the development of robotics and AI technology continues to advance, it is expected that the service and entertainment industry will continue to see new and innovative applications of these. Technologies One potential area of growth for robotics and AI in this industry is the use of collaborative robots or cobots, which are designed to work alongside human workers to improve efficiency and Productivity Cobots can be used in a variety of service and entertainment settings, from hospitality to retail to theme parks. For instance, in a hotel setting, cobots can be used to assist with tasks such as room service, cleaning, and luggage transport, while in a theme park setting, cobots can be used to assist with ride. Operation and Maintenance By working alongside human workers, cobots can help to reduce the physical strain of repetitive or labor-intensive tasks, while also improving overall efficiency and productivity. Another potential application of robotics and AI in the service and entertainment industry is the use of personalized and adaptive experiences. By leveraging data on customer behavior and preferences, as well as advanced machine learning algorithms, businesses can create more personalized and engaging experiences for their customers. For instance, in a restaurant setting, I can be used to recommend menu items based on the customer's past orders and preferences, while in a theme park setting, I can be used to adjust the difficulty level of a game or attraction based on the user's behavior and skill level. In the entertainment industry, robotics and I can also be used to create more immersive and interactive experiences for audiences. For instance, virtual reality and augmented reality technologies can be used to create fully immersive experiences, while advanced animatronics and robotics can be used to create lifelike and engaging characters and environments. However, as the use of robotics and AI in the service and entertainment industry becomes more widespread, it is important to address the potential ethical and social implications of these 
Technologies For instance, there is a risk that the use of these technologies could lead to job displacement and economic disruption, particularly in industries that rely heavily on human labor. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential for these technologies to perpetuate existing biases and inequalities. As robotics and I continue to evolve, there are many exciting possibilities for their use in the service and entertainment industry. One potential area of growth is the use of autonomous robots for various tasks, such as food preparation and delivery. For instance, in a restaurant setting, autonomous robots can be used to prepare and deliver food to customers, reducing wait times and improving efficiency. This can also help to reduce the risk of human error and improve food safety. Another potential application of robotics and I in the service industry is the use of virtual assistants and chatbots for customer service. With the help of natural language processing and machine learning algorithms, these systems can provide personalized and efficient support to customers, without the need for human intervention. Additionally, these systems can be programmed to learn from customer interactions and improve over time, leading to even more effective and efficient support. Applications of Artificial Intelligence in Energy and Environment Artificial Intelligence, I, has been revolutionizing various industries, including energy and environment. With the use of I, the energy and environment sectors can optimize their operations, reduce costs, and protect the environment. In this article, we will explore some of the applications of I in energy and environment. Energy Management Systems I can be used to develop energy management systems that can optimize energy usage in buildings, factories, and other facilities. These systems can monitor energy consumption patterns and adjust energy usage to minimize waste and reduce costs. They can also predict future energy usage patterns and adjust energy usage accordingly. Smart Grids Smart grids are electrical grids that use digital technology to monitor and control the flow of electricity. I can be used to develop smart grids that can optimize energy usage, reduce power outages, and improve the stability of the electrical grid. Smart grids can also integrate renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, into the electrical grid. Environmental Monitoring I can be used to monitor the environment and detect pollution. For example, I-powered drones can be used to monitor water quality in lakes and rivers. I can also be used to monitor air quality and detect pollutants in the air, such as particulate matter and nitrogen oxides. Climate Change Mitigation I can be used to develop models that can predict the impact of climate change on the environment. These models can help policymakers develop strategies to mitigate the effects of climate change. I can also be used to develop renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, which can reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Waste Management I can be used to optimize waste management systems. For example, I can be used to develop algorithms that can predict waste generation patterns and optimize waste collection routes. I can also be used to develop recycling systems that can identify and sort recyclable materials. Energy Storage I can be used to optimize energy storage systems, such as batteries and capacitors. By analyzing energy usage patterns, I algorithms can predict when and how much energy will be needed, and adjust energy storage accordingly. This can help to reduce energy waste and increase the efficiency of energy storage systems. Renewable Energy Forecasting 
I can be used to develop models that can predict renewable energy generation, such as solar and wind power. This can help energy providers to better manage their energy supply and demand, and reduce the need for backup power sources. I can also be used to optimize renewable energy systems, such as wind turbines, to maximize energy production. Water management I can be used to optimize water management systems, such as water treatment plants and irrigation systems. By analyzing water usage patterns, I algorithms can predict when and how much water will be needed, and adjust water usage accordingly. This can help to reduce water waste and increase the efficiency of water management systems. Natural Resource Management I can be used to monitor and manage natural resources, such as forests and fisheries. By analyzing data from sensors and cameras, I algorithms can detect changes in natural resource ecosystems and predict future changes. This can help policymakers to develop strategies to protect and preserve natural resources. Environmental Compliance I can be used to monitor and ensure compliance with environmental regulations. For example, I-powered drones can be used to detect illegal fishing activities in marine protected areas. I can also be used to monitor industrial activities and ensure compliance with environmental regulations, such as emission standards. Energy Trading I can be used to develop energy trading platforms that can predict energy prices and optimize energy trading. By analyzing energy supply and demand patterns, I algorithms can predict energy prices and suggest the best times to buy or sell energy. This can help energy providers to optimize their energy trading and reduce costs. Carbon Capture and Storage I can be used to optimize carbon capture and storage, CCS, systems, which can help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. By analyzing data from CCS systems, I algorithms can predict when and how much carbon dioxide will be captured and stored. This can help operators to optimize the CCS systems and increase the efficiency of carbon capture. Disaster Response I can be used to assist in disaster response efforts, such as natural disasters or oil spills. By analyzing data from sensors and cameras, I algorithms can detect changes in environmental conditions and predict the impact of disasters. This can help emergency responders to prepare for disasters and respond more effectively. Sustainable Agriculture I can be used to optimize agriculture systems, such as crop management and irrigation. By analyzing data from sensors and cameras, I algorithms can predict crop yields, detect nutrient deficiencies, and optimize water usage. This can help farmers to increase crop yields, reduce waste, and improve sustainability. Wildlife Conservation I can be used to monitor and protect wildlife populations, such as endangered species. By analyzing data from sensors and cameras, I algorithms can detect changes in wildlife populations and predict future changes. This can help conservationists to develop strategies to protect and preserve wildlife populations. Green Building Design I can be used to design and optimize green buildings that are energy efficient and environmentally friendly. By analyzing data on building materials, energy usage, and environmental impact, I algorithms can suggest design changes to optimize energy usage and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This can help architects and builders to design more sustainable buildings. Environmental Risk Assessment I can be used to assess environmental risks, such as air pollution and water contamination. By analyzing data from sensors and cameras, I algorithms can detect changes in environmental conditions and predict the impact of environmental risks. This can help policymakers and environmental experts to develop strategies to mitigate environmental risks. 
Smart transportation. I can be used to optimize transportation systems, such as traffic management and public transportation. By analyzing data on traffic patterns, public transportation usage and energy efficiency, I algorithms can suggest changes to optimize transportation systems and reduce energy usage. This can help to reduce traffic congestion, improve public transportation, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions from transportation. Sustainable Supply Chain Management I can be used to optimize supply chain management systems to reduce waste, improve efficiency, and reduce environmental impact. By analyzing data on supply chain logistics, energy usage, and environmental impact, I algorithms can suggest changes to optimize supply chain management systems. This can help companies to reduce waste, improve efficiency, and reduce their environmental impact. Environmental Education I can be used to educate people about environmental issues and promote sustainability. The Future of Artificial Intelligence and its Application in the Field of Energy and Environment Artificial Intelligence I, has been rapidly evolving in recent years, and its potential applications in various industries, including energy and environment, are vast. As technology continues to advance, the future of AI and its impact on the energy and environment sectors remain exciting and promising. One of the most significant opportunities for AI in the energy sector is the optimization of energy usage and the development of renewable energy sources. I can analyze data from sensors and cameras to predict energy demand and supply and optimize energy storage and distribution. Additionally, I can be used to develop renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, and to integrate them into the electrical grid. This can help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the effects of climate change. In the environmental sector, I can be used to monitor and protect natural resources and wildlife populations. I algorithms can analyze data from sensors and cameras to detect changes in environmental conditions and predict future changes. This can help conservationists and policymakers to develop strategies to protect and preserve natural resources and wildlife populations. Moreover, I can also be used to optimize waste management systems, such as recycling and waste collection. By analyzing data on waste generation and patterns, I algorithms can predict waste generation and optimize waste collection routes. This can help to reduce waste and improve the efficiency of waste management systems. As I technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more innovative applications in the energy and environmental sectors. For example, I can be used to develop smart cities, which are cities that use digital technology to optimize energy usage, reduce waste, and improve the quality of life for residents. I can also be used to optimize transportation systems, such as traffic management and public transportation, to reduce energy usage and greenhouse gas emissions. However, the development and implementation of AI in the energy and environment sectors must be done responsibly and ethically. It is crucial to ensure that AI is used to benefit society and the environment, rather than harming them. Additionally, data privacy and security must be taken into consideration to prevent potential harm to individuals and society. Artificial intelligence, I, has already been transforming the energy and environment sectors, and its potential for future applications is vast. As technology continues to evolve, I could be key in addressing some of the biggest challenges facing these sectors. 
One promising application of AI in the energy sector is the optimization of energy storage systems. By analyzing energy usage patterns, AI algorithms can predict when and how much energy will be needed, and adjust energy storage accordingly. This can help to reduce energy waste and increase the efficiency of energy storage systems. Another area where AI can have a significant impact is renewable energy forecasting. By developing models that can predict renewable energy generation, AI can help energy providers to better manage their energy supply and demand, and reduce the need for backup power sources. AI can also be used to optimize renewable energy systems, such as wind turbines, to maximize energy production. In the environmental sector, AI can be used to monitor and manage natural resources, such as forests and fisheries. By analyzing data from sensors and cameras, AI algorithms can detect changes in natural resource ecosystems and predict future changes. This can help policymakers to develop strategies to protect and preserve natural resources. Furthermore, AI can be used to monitor compliance with environmental regulations. For example, AI powered drones can be used to detect illegal fishing activities in marine protected areas. AI can also be used to monitor industrial activities and ensure compliance with environmental regulations, such as emission standards. As AI technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more innovative applications of AI in the energy and environment sectors. For example, AI could be used to develop smart grids that can adjust energy supply and demand in real time, which would make energy usage more efficient and reduce the risk of power outages. However, the development and implementation of AI in these sectors must be done responsibly and ethically. It is essential to ensure that AI is used to benefit society and the environment, rather than harming them. Additionally, data privacy and security must be taken into consideration to prevent potential harm to individuals and society. Artificial intelligence, AI, has already been transforming the energy and environment sectors, and its potential for future applications is vast. As technology continues to evolve, AI could be key in addressing some of the biggest challenges facing these sectors. One promising application of AI in the energy sector is the development of virtual power plants, VPPS. By analyzing energy usage patterns and integrating renewable energy sources, AI algorithms can create a network of distributed energy resources that can be used to supply energy to the Electrical grid. This can help to increase the efficiency of energy production and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, I can be used to optimize energy usage in buildings. By analyzing data on energy usage patterns and building design, I algorithms can suggest changes to optimize energy efficiency. This can help to reduce energy waste and lower energy costs for building owners. In the environmental sector, AI can be used to monitor and manage air pollution. By analyzing data on air quality and emissions, AI algorithms can predict air pollution levels and suggest changes to reduce emissions. This can help to improve air quality and protect public health. Furthermore, AI can be used to support sustainable agriculture. By analyzing data on soil quality, weather patterns, and crop yields, AI algorithms can suggest changes to optimize crop production and reduce waste. This can help to increase food production and improve food security. As AI technology continues to evolve, 
we can expect to see even more innovative applications of AI in the energy and environment sectors. For example, AI could be used to develop smart homes that can adjust energy usage in real time based on occupancy and usage patterns. AI could also be used to develop smart transportation systems that can optimize traffic flow and reduce energy usage. However, the development and implementation of AI in these sectors must be done responsibly and ethically. It is essential to ensure that AI is used to benefit society and the environment, rather than harming them. Additionally, data privacy and security must be taken into consideration to prevent potential harm to individuals and society. Artificial Intelligence AI has already been transforming the energy and environment sectors, and its potential for future applications is vast.